So hello everyone, um, I don't know if you are watching this before Christmas or after Christmas but we decided that it would be a good, good idea to look back and finish 2021 uh, with a looking back and, and sort of giving thanks and celebrating the good things that have happened uh, at St Michael's in Twerton. My name's Richard, uh, I've got with me Nathan uh, who heads up our outreach projects and Jenny who uh, looks after our buildings and uh, supports the finance team. So um, a little bit like Boris and his and his support act um, <laughs> uh, doing their announcements. Uh, we are uh, instead of giving you some bad news, we're hoping, hoping to give you some good news, uh, some things that are going well, um, but also just to let you know what's happening really. Um, so why don't we kick off um, by just checking with. Jenny, um, so Jenny, you joined us. I mean, you've been part of the church for a while, but you joined us halfway through the year, joined the staff team, but you're not new to the staff, are you? No, um, I worked as the administrator over four years ago and went on quite a long maternity leave. Um, and then I've come back and I'm now the buildings manager. Uh, so yeah, uh, but there's an ama it's been an amazing difference um, in how the buildings are used. Um, we seem to be um, hiring out to groups that are really helping in the community. So um, uh, local charities helping the young and the older and the vulnerable. Um, people hiring for um, helping feed the community and educating them with Bath College um, and the social services are um, very grateful to use our some of our rooms to help vulnerable people as well so um, it's really positive that our spaces are being used to do exactly what I think God wants them to be and to serve the community. You came at a really good time actually um, we were kind of looking at uh, what our buildings were being used for. You know, COVID and lockdowns gave us a really good opportunity to reflect, didn't it? And just think, kind of, I guess, ask God whether he had some, some different ideas and plans. Um, and uh, we, we dreamt about uh, this lighthouse uh, ministry uh, of providing a refuge for people. And so Nathan, I don't know, do you want to just tell people what's, uh, what's been happening since the summer here? Yeah, so um, the number one thing we want to bring is Jesus. We want to bring people to the light of Christ. So it's supporting people in different aspects, for instance, DHI to Bath College to Bath Food Bank, um, Genesis, um, as you say, social service, and many, many more. A broadband, so many different people from so many different age and cultures and backgrounds coming into our building gives us a chance to really cast the net out far wider than anything we've ever been able to do before. So that's kind of where we are a little bit, I think. Yeah. Yeah, huge thanks to Jenny and Nathan and the teams and the people, the, the other organisations that have helped get that off the ground. Um, the Lighthouse Project, is, it doesn't just cover this building though, does it? What, what else is it? No, so um, the idea is that um, uh, Lighthouse is the, the whole brand, the whole name, it's about refuge, it's about often a safe port of call for people that's in different levels of distress or discomfort or just not sure where they are in life, whether that's down from food poverty to uh, money problems to you know just <clears throat> trying to find a direction in life and you know just trying to find a little something the whole point of the lighthouse is that you know we want people to see that and see, see that branding and see the um, what it stands for and understand that it's us reaching out and offering a place where you know one of the doors will be open to offer you some sort of service and some sort of help and support so while it <clears throat> is quite a new thing for us to have this new uh, branding and things, it's caught on really fast. It's caught on very quickly. I think um, the understanding of Light St. Michael's and Lighthouse is the same thing and it's one and the same. It's just an actual representation of our outreach. That's all, whether it be in the school with Gwen, our amazing chaplain, or whether it be um, with the Lighthouse Centre, uh, with what was the uh, rec house, or whether it be Rose Cottage, where we're running obviously the Lighthouse Cafe from, which has been established and been running for many, many years before I even got here. So it, it, it is, it's just it, the, whole, the whole thing is, it's a ministry over, it's an umbrella ministry over all of our projects that are trying to reach out, trying to give people something and some, something to hold on to when they need it. So you've got a kind of new job role, haven't you really? Lighthouse keeper. Um, 
We should get you a cat. And yeah. <laughs> so, write a story. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. In, in May, I got offered the opportunity to go full time with St. Michael's, which um, I jumped at with both hands. Really loved the idea of um, forming something new, something from the ground up and being involved from the beginning is so amazing than what it is often being hired in and brought in. You're kind of, someone's already set the, the policy out and you've got to follow that policy, but when you're involved in the policy writing, it's, uh, it's great, it's amazing. So, uh, and so I'm now the Lighthouse Leader, which is, you know, I think I still, it's May, I was told for this job and I'm still getting the jokes and the puns about it and still <laughs> getting the yeah. WhatsApp messages of light bulbs and things and so, you know, I do change light bulbs and I do clean windows, so you know, I'll take it. It's all right. It's fine. <laughs> but um, yes, yeah, so, and it, it is amazing. It's um, it's a it's a it's a journey that I never expected to be on, and it's what I'm doing not just with church, but with my own family as well. They are heavily involved in everything that I do. So yeah, it's awesome. So good. Uh, what are the other kind of parts of the vision uh, uh, that Catherine and I, my, my, my wife Catherine, felt God gave us um, for the way we lead is to raise up people into leadership uh, to, for, for, for us not to have to do everything and the staff not to do everything so uh, the missional communities that we operate at St Michael's have been a great uh, vehicle for enabling people to step into uh, leading, leading, leadership roles and uh, to do things that they never thought they could do. So we have, um, I mean, we're all involved in different missional communities, yeah. aren't we? So Jenny, um, you're with the families group. Yeah. Um, <laughs> how's that been going this year? Yeah, the f uh, families, so we've, we're there, the parents and the young children. Um, yeah, and it's a great opportunity to, for us parents and what I call the aunties and uncles of the church, the cousins of the church, the children, just to see each other as family. And we, we just um, helped to host the Chris Stingle at Christmas, um, which was so nice to be able to try and connect with um, the community as well. And we just hope to go forward to be able to connect with other children and families um, in Twerton. Mm. And it's been... <coughs> been great being able to um that wasn't a covid cough promise uh it's it's been it's been really really good having places and i guess um spaces where we can uh bring the generations together so often not in church uh that i've been involved in you know the kids go off to their group the adults stay in one place the youth go off somewhere else and you don't really you kind of see each other for about five minutes at the beginning and we go yay we're all family but we're not actually really because we're mm. sending each other off whereas the missional communities we kind of all get stuck in don't we and yeah. you know you were talking the other day Nathan, about how your kids are actually leading stuff yeah uh, with adults and and that was really encouraging to hear how's agape going because it, it wasn't in existence at the beginning of 2021 this is a new thing isn't it absolutely so we formed <coughs> agape in september i believe maybe just a little bit after that. Um, we sort of were born out of one of the other missional community groups that grew too big, uh, this Twitter Central one. And um, I had a really clear vision that I felt God was saying that we had to reach out to people that might not get the invite. They would sort of um, maybe, I would marginalize is one word or just, you know, they don't fit the script or the bill. And um, being that person myself regularly and spent many years in that area, I felt that it's somewhere where we could go as a family. So after talking to uh, Lucy, my wife, and all four of my children, because what you have to remember with Mission or Community, you are doing it as a family, you're not doing it yourself. You, you come as one, you come as a unit. And um, everyone thought it was a great idea, um, you know, and the numbers built very, very quick. And, you know, we got a good collection of people that were actually putting on the carols, like, like the families did the... Um, Christine, we're doing the carol service, which if you see before this Sunday on the 19th, you better come along to at six o'clock. And, um, and yeah, so then we're going to be doing aspects of that. And this is people that would not have been given an opportunity, I, I would say, and this, this is only my opinion. Um, they probably wouldn't have been given the opportunity to do, to showcase themselves in this sort of level, to stand in front of people, in front of Christians and non-Christians and say, I want to read this bit of scripture out about Jesus. I don't believe that would have happened before. And so this is a real opportunity and a real, like, 
moment of what you know it's what Jesus did he went out he reached out to people that probably wouldn't want people wouldn't want him to reach out to so that's what I feel we should be doing you know if we're gonna if we're gonna do what we're told then we should do as we read as well so yeah it's it's going amazingly and but as you say all my kids are doing stuff my 12 year old boy was teaching loads of people how to do origami and uh, you know that that went on for an hour. So it was only meant to be a half hour project. So yeah, paper airplanes. No, it was better than that. It wow. was like, yeah, <laughs> like, loads, yeah, yeah. You know, pick a number, pick a color, and all sorts. Wow, right? So cool. yeah, it was really good. Really good. Yeah, it's good. And of course, we got the eat community, um, <clears throat> cooking food together, and it's providing a space for people who um, who have all sorts of dif different um, different needs, different learning styles, and all abilities come together. And then we have the Roots and Shoots group who have been uh, really creative this year, you know, starting to, um, starting to move from having a Thursday service every week to actually have, doing more social, um, providing spaces, coffee times where they can invite friends along to. Um, and, uh, and it's just been brilliant seeing how all of the communities are, are really rising to the challenge of trying to uh, engage with the those who are the not yet members of the church, you know, that's why we exist as St. Michael's. And, and if, you, um, if you count yourself as a member of the church, then count yourself on team. Uh, if you're a not yet member, then count yourself invited. We'd love to connect with you. We think that there's probably a place for you somewhere, uh, somehow. And, um, and we, we would love to be able to sit here next year, this time next year, and celebrate what God has done in your life. So um, we want to wish you a, a Merry Christmas. Uh, do come and join us at one of our uh, Christmas events, uh, like Nathan said, this Sunday, 6 p.m. in the churchyard, or Christmas Eve uh, at midnight, or well, it's actually 11 p.m., uh, or Christmas Day at 10.30 in the church. And uh, look forward to seeing you hopefully at one of those. Uh, but uh, see you in the new year if we don't see you before then. Thanks for watching. <laughs>